Welcome to the Hypnosis NGH podcast. This podcast series offers a fun and serious look at hypnosis and offers various ideas, discuss case studies, along with NGH educational opportunities. Hello, and welcome to the Hypnosis NGH podcast. I'm Executive Director Jeremy Bashan. We've had a lot of people ask us for some insight to the presentations that will be happening this year at the 2024 Solid Gold Weekend in Las Vegas, February 24th and 25th. This will be the first of a series with each presenter. Please welcome our guest, Vice President of the National Guild, Don Martin. Hello, Don. How are we doing today? I'm doing wonderful. Really been excited about doing this podcast with you. Great. Well, we're we're really looking forward to the Solid Gold Weekend coming up in uh, February, and you will be teaching a um, a practice building course, and uh, we want to know a little bit more about that. It's called the Overcoming the Twenty Five Mistakes That Many Hypnotists Make. And I, I find that uh, topic very interesting because, you know, we do have a lot of practicing consulting hypnotists throughout the uh, world. And uh, for you to uh, name some of the mistakes that, you know, some of these people may may come across that you've, you've experienced yourself um, may help them out in, the, in their future sessions. So uh, you wanted to just give us a little overview of, of uh, what came about, how this course came about to your to your intention there? Wonderful. I'd be glad to. We did the class originally two years ago. That was at the NGH convention. At that time, if you wanted to take a two- or three-hour class, you had to pay extra. Now, that since then, which I think is a great idea, they've got it all inclusive, so you don't have that situation. But since we had people in the room, they, I believe it was $25, we made a commitment. If we didn't teach you something you didn't know, we'd give you your $25 back. And people, oh my gosh, good news. We didn't give one refund. So I'm going to hit a couple of those items that we're going to be doing. Uh, some of them are therapeutic, some are more business. We'll start off with the business one. Here's a mistake I made for years, and many, many hypnotists are doing so. You get an email, a phone call, and they want you to call them back. They're interested in making an appointment. So you right away, you dial them up, and you get their voicemail. Here's a mistake so often people make. Hi, this is Don Martin with National Guild of Hypnotists returning your call. Give me a call. The problem there, we've just stopped any communication because now you can't get by calling them again because you told them to call you. Here is what we recommend is, hi, there's Don Martin with National Guild. I'm returning your call. You can give me a call back. Or I'll try you a little later in the day. By hitting it that way, we didn't lose that student. We didn't lose that session because you have a reason to call them back. I've had times where I've actually made four different calls and finally reached the person and, they, oh, I'm glad you called back. I wanted to enroll in the CI class. I wanted to take such and such. And so it gives you that opportunity to say, oh, okay, we're not going to lose that person because of that. Uh Early in my career, we ended up with eight different offices in three states, had 15 hypnotists working for me full time. And the only problem I had is with that many people in three different states, I couldn't sit there and say, okay, let's go over this. So we put together a group of things that for my hypnotist and many people around the world who are guild members had picked that up. The next one that we do we call it respond as if. We discovered this doing stage shows initially because to have something that's very complicated would be a negative hallucination. So if you said, open your eyes, the audience has vanished. And it takes a deep level of hypnosis. So just for sake of example, let's say we have 20 people who are hypnotized. 10 are those, oh my gosh, they're so grieved. 
great, they can hallucinate. The other 10, mediocre. So if we basically said on the count of three, open your eyes, the audience is vanished. Ten of them aren't going to be able to respond. So we came up with the following words. On the count of three, open your eyes, and I want you to respond as if the audience has vanished. So the people who are really deep, they're actually creating that negative hallucination. The others are going to respond as if. And this works so well, I began in, uh, using it for therapeutic things. I want you to respond as if chocolates are no longer important to you. I want you to respond as if you're confident you're going to pass the next exam. And those type of things going on. And I'll hit one more that I like that I make people do for weight loss. Typically, we have a client who wants to lose 30 pounds, and they come back a week later, two weeks, however you have your pack set up, and they go, oh, I didn't do good. I only lost two and a half to three pounds. Here's what we do. Wow. Do you realize you lost 10% of your goal? <gasps> Think about it. What would you rather do, lose three pounds or lose 10% of your goal? So now, two weeks later, you know you now have lost 15% of your goal. So that tends to keep them motivated. I always got tickled because about the fourth or fifth time, the client would come back, Don, before you say it, I've now lost 28.5% of my goal. And it keeps them motivated where they say, oh, oh, that's good. And I have touched one more because it's the one I hear most office, Jay, from our hypnotist. They say, well, so and so I was going to do for smoking. I said, do you want to quit? And he said, no, I don't. So I told him, I said, leave. If you don't want to do this, this isn't going to work for you. Here's two problems. Number one, you left somebody who's now going to be a smoker where you could have helped probably save their life and increase their life. Man. And number two, you also didn't receive the fee. Here's what we've taught for years. Oh, I don't know if I really want to quit. Okay, if I had a magic button, all you had to do was push the button instantly. You would be a non-smoker. Would you push the button? And I'm in the 95, well, yeah. So it really wasn't a case they didn't want to. It's probably a case they didn't know if they could. So my magic button we've been using for years, and I have many, many other colleagues who are using it as well. Kind of an overview of what we're going to do to overcome the 25 mistakes by giving them this type of information. You know, isn't it amazing how it, is, it could be something pretty simple and as, you know, changing the wording of, of a voicemail uh, of a return call or a reply to a client or a, a changing of the way you uh, say words to the client can make such a, uh, an impact and, and uh, such a big change. Yeah, it really is. I've always been amazed, Jay, that uh, I'll change this. And people say, well, you've got a lot of good ideas. I've been doing it for 43 years. And I've, I've had the honor, and it really is honor, hypnotizing about 50,000 people. I always joke if I taught a class on things that I developed that did not work, I could have a six-month internship because, oh, this sounds really good. Well, it sounded good. It looked good on paper, but it didn't. So attacking the 25 items, we're going to be able to do things that we know. I've tried it the other way. We came up with a technique. I tried it over and over. I passed it to other hypnotists. They tried it over and over. And if it got the results we wanted, we kind of put it in our good path pile. And that's what we're going to be doing with the 25 different mistakes. The other thing, I mean, you have talked about this so often, the person might leave the class and that sounded good, but they don't remember. So we're going to make sure that every individual who attends Solid Goal will have all the written material from these 25 mistakes. And I'll be honest, it's more like 30. I just couldn't stop. So they're going to have it on a USB drive. So they get home and they say, oh, I really like that induction. What was the wording? So uh, we're going to go that extra step for our members and make sure they not only learn by seeing, experiencing at the class, but they'll have the written material. I think the written material is about 30 pages, but we want to make sure they had something they could take back with them to ensure it was going to be successful. And this material is only available for the people who are taking solid gold. That's amazing, Don. I, I know attendees 
will gain so much from from your talk and in your experience. I mean, that that's the uh, the biggest point is is how much experience that you have. You've made the mistakes yourself, and and uh, you found what works, and and passing that on to to our attendees, they're going to take away walk away with so much knowledge from from your course. So I'm really looking forward to that. Wonderful. Would this, would this class best be for new hypnotists or, or those with uh, years of experience? Yeah. And I know so often people said it's for everyone, but this one really is. I can have the person, I've got six month experience, or I can have the person who says, well, I've been doing it for 20, 30 years. But the thing I like is the techniques are simple enough. You'll see the individuals in the class shaking their head. Yep, that makes sense to me. Uh, I had a major stroke a number of years ago, and they said, you'll never walk again. You'll never do this. So it was a good thing I didn't follow instruction. But I was in a wheelchair for a year. And as things progressed, and now with the exception of a cane, occasionally I'm back to about 100%. So I got really excited, Jay, about working with stroke survivors. The problem I ran into was so often, what? what's the doctor's prognosis? He said, I will never walk again. Ah, what's the doctor's prognosis? I'll be in oxygen for what's the rest the of my life. What's the doctor's prognosis? He said, I'll never walk again. Hmm. When he told you that, he didn't know we'd be using hypnosis, did he? And the client said, that's right. He didn't. So I gave a an easy reason why the doctor might have been wrong with the prognosis and got the person back on track with the right type of expectations where, oh, oh, I can do this. And there's nothing better than seeing someone that here's where I'm at. I haven't been able to do this. I remember a guy came back and he's grunting so much and it really, really a lot of negatives. He said, guess who transferred himself from the wheelchair to the toilet this week? And that's kind of like the fireworks going off for hypnotist. Wow, I really made a difference in people's life. But that's why the NGH has so many presenters at the convention. We've got a, quite a few at Solid Gold where, oh, I'm going to learn from a lot of people rather than just one. But the prognosis has worked real well with a variety of different types of illnesses. You now, you've taught this course before at the convention, I, and I know you've uh... – you you only teach certain courses in in so many you know years span. How long again will will this course um, be until you teach it live again? Sure, is the and you're exactly right. We teach a variety of classes, so there's time period, and so this one isn't scheduled to be repeated for six years. Now we'll be doing other things with the NGH, but this particular class we don't have scheduled to be teaching it live again for six years. So it's definitely worth your effort to try to make the solid gold. And when you look at, I'm only one of six different pre, pre presentations that are going to go on a solid gold. Uh, it's definitely worth your time and money. Uh, what a, what a great opportunity, Don. Um, just to, to some things out in, in a few words, can you tell us why a person should participate in the, this class and in the solid gold weekend? Sure. Um, the convention in Marlboro, Massachusetts has been going on many, many years. Uh, I love talking to new people about the convention because they say at 10 o'clock in the morning, you'll have 8, 9, 10, 11 classes to choose from, which is great for variety. I've also had people, well, I'm having trouble. Which one should I take? I can't take them all. And on the solid gold, the things that's different is you have the variety of presentation, but you're actually going to get to attend every single one rather than trying to make a decision. Who should I go to? Who I shouldn't? And the guild uh, selecting who should present at solid gold 2024 has gone over and I'm picking things that any hypnotist, whether they have six months or they have 60 years of experience, are going to benefit from solid gold. To me, I had somebody last year and I said, well, I'm glad you're here. So yeah, I looked over the material and this was a no brainer. I had to be here for this because they look at here's the cost. Here's what I'm getting. And so, yeah, the, the solid gold is just one of those. I think the Burbage was perfect being gold. It's top notch. 
It really is a, an a immersive uh, experience at the Solid Gold Weekend. You you get to soak in a lot of information from, uh, let's you know, just say it, 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 some of the top presenters in in our profession. Uh, you know, at Solid Gold Weekend, another opportunity that you you're going to be teaching is the um, NGH Train the Trainer certification, um, and this is this is a great opportunity to become a certified instructor because it includes the tuition to the Solid Gold Weekend. So you get the Solid Gold Weekend, and then you get to spend five days with Don Martin learning how to become a certified instructor. You, can you tell us a little more about that, Don? Sure. I Out of every class I've ever taught, that has to be my favorite. Because most hypnotists, we have done some public speaker, we've done this type of class, but the train the trainers will take the person that, oh, I don't know anything about teaching all the way that I've been teaching for years, and it does that five days. It's one of those things where, okay, we're starting off, I got the basis, it's totally, completely interactive. If you said, well, I don't want to participate in any way, shape, or form, probably not the class for you. If you realize, okay, Don's going to set this up and we're going to get in groups of three or whatever it happens to be, and people say, well, is there a really hard test? Well, a test. But in my mind, most of the test is during that entire five days because I have the opportunity to watch how they're communicating, how you're presenting, and this, that, and the other. And for people, oh, I'm a little nervous. Can I do this? I can give you 100% absolutely positively for sure. Uh, one of the requirements is to be a guild member for at least one year. We've also opened it up, though, if somebody said, well, I'm not a guild member, but I've been practicing for eight years. I haven't done that. Uh, we'll always consider somebody looking at their past experience or past training, things of this nature. And that class is so wonderful. We have people from all over the world who will come to do that. I know we have two or three people from way outside the U.S. that are already enrolled. Uh, but by the end, my ultimate goal is that they feel confident and competent to be able to take the guild's material, the core curriculum, and be able to teach it and feel comfortable. I think one of the things I like the best Jay, about the core curriculum, everybody's different. I have some CIs who are spending three hours on the history of hypnosis. I have other CIs who are spending 15 minutes on the history of hypnosis. So you have to teach the core curriculum. So you can't take away from what you might be able to add to. I have a CI that, oh, is an expert beyond belief on working with golfers. So he decides I'm going to add a little bit of this on golf with my class. So uh, it's one of those, the other thing I get tickled is people said, oh, I'm still friends with people in my class from eight years ago. Because you're all there together and to watch people go, I, I've got it, I've got it. So I want to see that. And the thing I also teach and train the trainers, I think, is important for everything else. There's three requirements. Number one, if you're a CI, the person came to learn. Number two, they should have had a good time while they're learning. I've had people say, I went to a class, I was, I learned a lot, but it almost killed me. He was so boring and all. So they came to learn. They should have had a good time. And the third one, you should have a strong rapport with whoever your students are so that they're not leery if five years down the road, oh, my God, I have no idea what to do. I'm going to call my instructor. Maybe he can help me with that. And the guild seems to be more giving that way than I've ever seen before where somebody will, oh, I can help you. And it's not one of these, well, you know, I'm going to charge you for this phone call. So, for example, I, I talk to hundreds and hundreds of our members every year. And it's kind of exciting for me as well as hopefully helpful for them. Absolutely. You know, that's that's what uh, seeing at the convention and, and um, the, the Solid Gold Weekend, all of these people who have learned from an NGH certified instructor, um, they have a, a good, solid knowledge of the basics of hypnotism. And that's that's what the core curriculum is about. Uh, but the the amazing and great part about it is like you said, if you if you have a specialty that you do, you can add that on to your course, and and uh, there's so much more that you can add to it. But the strong core curriculum is is uh, 
is essential basically to to uh to know you know the the how to how to be a confident hypnotist in in this world yeah exactly and the one thing i've taught and this is one that i think the i had several people and i'm talking hypnotists cis have been doing this 30 40 years and one young lady, I think she had over 30 years, she said, the one thing you taught that I thought, well, I think I knew, and it's called WWYH. And that stands for want what you have, because you are the instructor. You're this. And wow, I have really liked her. We had good rapport. Boy, he just hit it out of the park. So want what you have. If it's the other way around, we're probably going to have trouble. And my closest to political I'm ever going to get, I was on a flight, sitting next to a young lady. We're waiting to take off. She said, what do you think of Donald Trump? <laughs> and I looked at her and said, I have a 50-50 chance of this being the worst flight of my entire <laughs> life. I said, you know, I kind of like to snooze during the flight. I mean, <laughs> you're setting yourself up, you know, 50-50, and there's no reason for that. But we've all met people even short time. I don't know what it is. There's something about her. She's just bubbly. And I want what she had. And as an instructor, that's important to get across. But even as a practicing hypnotist, whether you're doing your sessions live or you're doing them online, the client should, in addition to I was successful, but I want what he has. And so I think that's a real important one as, as well. It is. And, you know, uh, Sometimes playing the middle road is the way to go. Uh, I always thought it was WWDMD. What would Don Mutton do? Oh, I like that. <laughs> Jay, my head just expanded. <laughs> That's very, very nice. But I actually have cards for hypnotists with the WWYH and explain. So if they start, okay. Guess what? I came in to lose some weight, and you're going to tell me how your daughter's got a problem and that the dog died. And da, 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 not a good thing. Right. So, uh, so the time to, oh, God, is talk to a colleague, talk to a family member, a neighbor, but not with your students, not with a client, because we need to come across that way that they want what you have. That's such great advice, Don. Uh, and you know, to cap things off, at the Solid Gold Weekend, we will once again be doing the um, NGH board certification exam, um, where uh, Don Mon will be doing the examination with with board certification uh, candidates. Um, Don, what what is it about the board certification um, that that you would that you find important? Wonderful. When we put this together. It was one of the hardest things I and many of my colleagues did because different people learn things differently. So if you said you're training how many deepening techniques or there's seven, there's 12, there's three. So he couldn't do that. So we had to come up with something that wasn't just a parrot. I have memorized this verbiage. Uh, I have people signing up for the board certifying and they're thinking, oh, God, what can I study? I say you can't study because what we're doing is testing your knowledge. Uh, Maurice Kershaw, super, super individual in Canada, he'll be doing oral interviews with you online, and it gives you an idea. Uh, the board certifying isn't something, what's my number one requirement? A checkbook doesn't happen. Now, don't get paranoid the other way. Oh, I might fail it, because if you've been doing hypnosis, you've done a reading, you've done this, that, and the other, the comment I hear from people who pass, they said, it was not a give me, but I found it really enthused that I was able to do that. And as you touched upon, we have people who they went to solid gold and they say, oh, OK, I want to do the train the trainer. I didn't sign up in advance. Well, 1995 covers the train the trainer and solid gold. So you're saving three, three hundred fifty dollars. And then I have people. How often is the board given? 
twice a year. This isn't something, well, I want to go Monday, so I'll go over. So it's held at the Solid Gold, and then it's held again in Marlboro, Massachusetts in August for the convention. So I was really enthused because I thought, okay, this is truly a way of testing a person's knowledge. There will be things similar to, here's what happened with a dentist, bah, 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 bah. and this, what did the hypnotist do wrong? Oh, he shouldn't have done this. And here's a situation with such and such. Oh, here's what it is. And then there's a multiple choice that, ah, here's the one. So again, it's not a give me, but if you've been doing hypnosis any length of time, even two or three years plus, you'll have no trouble whatsoever passing that. And that just kind of takes you from just a regular consulting hypnotist up to the next level being board certified. Right. And, and Don, how, how long is the board cert? How long does it take for the exam? Uh, the oral exam will depend quite a bit on the person. The written portion, which is a combination, don't get scared when we use this word, essay, uh, multiple choice, true and false, uh, typically somewhere around two hours. It'll be held Sunday after solid gold. Give it give our group a little bit of time. Okay, let me take a little break from the time Solid Gold ended, this, that, and the other, and then there'll be a, a facility set up for for the testing. And so even if you said, well, oh, I didn't sign up for board certified, I didn't sign up for training the trainers, you'll be able to do either one of those or both at the Solid Gold itself. Right, you can sign up right at the spot, which is great. Yes. Uh, we prefer to know in advance, especially train the trainers, because there's a lot of material. There's material for the board certified. So if oh, I really want to do that, you can sign up. And if somehow I didn't realize till I got there that I wanted to do board certified, I didn't know until I got there I wanted to train the trainers. So you'll have that kind of last chance type of event. Sure. Well, Don, I, I really want to thank you for taking your time out today uh, to be with us and to uh, give us an overview of the Solid Gold Weekend and what you'll be teaching. Um, you've been teaching at the Solid Gold Weekend. You, you, you're you a veteran Solid Gold presenter. Um, what is it about the Solid Gold and, and, um, and being out in Vegas that, that makes it special? Yeah, um, I'm one of those when you say, hey, what kind of gambler are you? the cheap ones. In other words, I'm okay. I spent my 20 bucks for the day or whatever it happens to be. Uh, for people traveling up north and you say, well, it's currently 10 degrees and snow. So the weather is a big draw. Uh, the hotel that it's at, Tuscany, uh, I could do a commercial for them. The young lady who does all the booking, I said, here's my requirement, clean and safe. I don't care if it doesn't have a big chandelier in the lobby. And people say, yeah. So the rooms are all wonderful. The other thing, if you said, I don't want to leave the hotel, they have restaurants way, way up that are expensive. Restaurants that are way down, that's really good, that are inexpensive, have a nice little casino. And the thing I see almost immediately, Jay, where the person, okay, you know, solid gold, let's get together afterwards. And it, it's kind of a nice environment. Usually in the train, the trainers, people are already getting to know each other. Oh, let's go down to hotel such and such for a class. So it's, it's a neat place to go. And you tie that in with the solid gold board or train the trainer. Just made that a really, really memorable time. And so you're, you're going to learn a lot. You're going to have fun. And if you've never been to Vegas, it's an experience by itself. Well, a knowledgeable, fun-filled weekend uh, awaits you, so please join us at the Solid Goal Weekend. Don and I will see you there. Thank you for listening to the Hypnosis NGH podcast. You're welcome to share your ideas for future podcasts by emailing us, ngh podcast at ngh.net.